Welcome. It is really great to have you. During the next 15 minutes, we will discuss the feasibility of your going into business for yourself. Most of this presentation will pose questions for you to consider. You might think of this session like a checklist of major issues for you to weigh. I am Virgil Dismeyer, a SCORE volunteer. Many years ago, I went through this same process as I weighed the possibility of opening my own company. We suggest you download and print the slides so you can make notes for yourself. After the presentation, go back and try to answer the questions for yourself. Use your own answers to resolve whether your concept has any viability. So let's begin by asking a few questions. Many of these questions will not be immediately answerable, but they will get you thinking. Is there a market for your product and service? Is this product or service needed by a large enough cross-section of the market? Is it relatively simple to communicate the benefits of your product or service? Can you obtain the necessary funding? Is your business idea such that you can convince people or institutions to risk an investment? How would you sell your product and service? Would you be the primary salesperson or would you use some other method? We will discuss this in detail on the following pages. Can this business make a solid return on your investment? From what you have learned to so far, are you convinced that this business can make money? When we say make money, we mean enough for you to make a good living. Now let's turn to you. Have you answered the question, why do you want to go into business? This is important. Have you really given this serious thought? Running a small business is not easy. Do you have the temperament to deal with the many challenges that you will meet? What skills do you bring to your proposed business? Have your previous business experiences given you technical knowledge that will contribute to this venture? Is your family aware of your thinking and are they supportive? This is important because the activities and the hours necessary to succeed will be extensive. This will affect them as well as you. Now let's think about your personal strengths. What personal strengths will help you? Are you decisive, organized, thorough, unemotional, under stress? Now is the time for you to dig a little deeper. Take a minute and answer the questions on the next three pages. Remember, there is no wrong answer. Study and answer the questions calmly at the end of this session. If you download the slides, you can print them and circle the answer that applies to you. Since you are the primary salesperson, think carefully of how you respond to no. You will hear it a lot as you try to overcome sales resistance. You are the business until it grows enough to have employees. Consequently, the last question is very important. You can hire independent contractors for some of these skills, but you are still the boss. 
I hope the questions on the preceding three slides help you clarify your thinking. At this point, you may be even more certain about going into business, or frankly, you may be a little confused. Either way, you are making progress. Let's take a little closer look at the product or service you are thinking about. Is your proposed market open to new companies? Said differently, is there room for another company? If you think so, why? If the answer is yes, this means you think there are weaknesses in what is being currently offered. Can you name some? Write them down. Frequently, businesses are successful because they develop a niche for their offering. Is there a niche for your proposed product or service? Selling your product or service is a critical priority. Selling will probably dominate your activity, at least initially. What different methods of selling have you studied? What are the current methods for selling like products or services? What are the advantages and disadvantages of each? And can you capitalize on these opportunities? How about money? This is a tough question. What financial resources do you have? Family, savings, friends, potential investors? At this stage, you probably only have a general idea where funds may be available. There is a webinar in this series entitled Funding Alternatives. Watch it. It will be helpful. This is also why, among other reasons, a business plan is so important. A good business plan is a selling tool for your business ideas. So what do you do? Let's see. You're thinking about the business idea, your skills, money, your own personal ambition. Now what? There are a few steps that can really help. Gather information from every possible source, friends, people in business, readings, the internet, and so forth. Make extensive notes and attend classes. Score online training classes called webinars are very good. They are concise, clear, and free you can take them from home. SCORE also has workshops and evening classes which should be considered, especially the one entitled Simple Steps to Start Your Business. Establish a relationship with a SCORE mentor as an ongoing resource available to you. Set up a tentative major event calendar. This will help you to timeline major activities that must be completed. Be patient. This may be the biggest decision of your lifetime. Decide. After extensive study, as life outlined previously, it is now time to decide and commit yourself. Done correctly, you can make it work. Best of luck. And now, let's wrap this up. In addition to what you've learned today, you are encouraged to seek mentoring at your local SCORE Minnesota chapter. SCORE volunteers know the local community and can offer insight and other experience to you. One service SCORE can offer is assistance 
in developing a business plan. If you are from outside Minnesota, we urge you to establish a relationship with your local SCORE chapter elsewhere in the country. Visit the SCORE.org website to find a chapter near you. Finally, if you have other questions, we have a dedicated email address to further serve you. It is noted on the slide. As a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping you start or grow a business, we must make some disclosures. We rely on various experts to present a topic, and the content is strictly for your education. SCORE Minnesota, nor any of its chapters, endorse any specific vendor. And finally, any screenshots or Im images we have used are provided only for illustrative purposes to help you in visualize what is involved. In closing, we want to recognize the organizations that make these webinars possible. First, we thank our SCORE member for sharing his insight into this first step in your journey as a possible new entrepreneur. Second, Montana State University for allowing us to use their feasibility analysis checklist. Third, Veritas Marketing for guiding us through the technical and policy issues of producing our webinars. And fourth, Spedco, whose funding and support make this service possible to you as a free service. We have answered, we hope we have answered some of your concerns about creating a new business. Goodbye and good luck. Thank you. Please stand by.